In this video, we will discuss an overview of grading. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 1101 grading overview.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. The grading tools and commands in Civil 3D provide a flexible interface that you can use to create almost any type of grading objects. You can automate surface creation by using grading criteria, such as grade to relative elevation, graded distances, and so on, as well as feature lines. You can define grading styles and criteria and feature line styles in a drawing template to save time, drafting, and help create consistent standard-based drawings. Before we go over grading objects, we need to understand sites. So as far as sites go, a site is a collection of geometric objects, such as feature lines, parcels, and grading objects that will all interact with each other. So if you look over here right now, I happen to have a couple of sites in my drawing, one called Detention Pond and one called Pad. These sites do not contain any parcel objects, but they do contain feature lines that are used to either create a grading object or just simply to be used in a surface creation. These feature lines and grading objects will actually interact with each other and will allow surface creation to work much easier. Also note, you can right click on any of these and zoom to whatever location you want to to actually see that object. Feature lines are a crucial object type when doing any kind of site design or grading. If you look here, I'll go ahead and select a few of these and I'll take these into the object viewer. And as you can see, these interact with each other and automatically will communicate your surface design. As far as the settings and styles for the feature lines, if you go to the settings tab, general category, we have multi-purpose styles, and then you have all the feature line styles that you can define. Grading objects also live in the site. And if we look, we have something called grading groups that actually allow you to combine grading criteria to create whatever site design you need. If I select the grading object here, you'll see that it contains an infill, as well as some other gradings that grade right to the surface. Let's take these into the object viewer and see what they look like. As you can see, you can create some really cool grading objects based on just some simple geometry and some simple commands. One of the really cool aspects of grading objects is that they will interact together as well as allow for easy modification. So for instance, if I select this grading, and this is a surface grading, I can go to the edit grading option right here. And let's just go ahead and change the slope from a two to one to let's say a four to one. And just like that, all the objects will interact with each other and automatically regenerate your grading. This makes grading object functionality very powerful. One of the other aspects of grading is the fact that a surface can be generated automatically. If we look at the surfaces category, I already happen to have the surface created, but I've simply turned the display off. So I'll right click on the pad surface, go to surface properties and set this to a style that displays contours. And you'll notice that the contours and the surface itself will update automatically. Again, what's combined in this one surface is not only the grading objects, but also the feature lines as well. You can also generate automatic volume cut and fill calculations, which makes using grading objects very powerful and easy. Grading objects also have settings and styles. If you look at the settings tab, you'll note that there is a grading category where you can define the styles of how the grading objects will display. In most cases, these will not plot, but are simply there for visual purposes so that you can make edits to them as you need to. And the grading criteria sets are also available to automate what kind of grading you wanna do, like grade to distance, elevation, relative elevation, and surfaces. But you can create as many as you need to based on your design. This concludes this video discussing an overview of grading.